everyone, it's day 22 of my January blog and I hope that you have had a good day. I've had a really um, long day today. I went for a networking breakfast at Grace Belgravia, my lovely private members club. And then I had an away day with the charity um, that I sit on the board of because we needed to have a strategy day. So we've been doing that all day and I'm really exhausted. I haven't been thinking all day like that for a couple of months and it's really, really exhausted my brain. Um, but it was a really super fun day and the things that occurred to me were how much I actually miss um, seeing people um, kind of all day, every day. Um, and since I've been um, at home between jobs, I do go out and see people for lunch and coffee and things like that, but I don't have that office interaction. Um, and I do miss that. Interestingly, at the breakfast this morning at Grace, we had a speaker talking about how to have difficult conversations, particularly in a work context. And um, she was very interesting, the things she said about difficult conversations. And I guess I would summarise what she said um, into two main points. The first one was don't shy away from difficult conversations because if you have an issue about something and you don't bring it up and you just leave it to sit there, it sort of gets worse and worse and then eventually becomes an issue that can't really be resolved, which is a shame. And the second thing she said is that don't go into difficult conversations thinking they're all about you. Really try to empathise and understand where the other person is coming from really think about what makes them tick, what motivates them, try and understand their point of view, and then use that as a basis for your conversation rather than, you know, your own issues. And I thought that was interesting because often when I think about difficult conversations I've had, I've started with the, the sort of the feeling, you know, either this is going well or this isn't going well from my perspective, and I kind of build a conversation around that. And actually taking a step back and thinking about the person I'm having the conversation with and thinking time to work that all through I think could often lead to more productive conversations so I thought that was really helpful and the people around the table were really interesting and you know the lady sitting beside me um, had set up and and was the the CEO of um, a chain of care homes there was a lady from a matchmaking agency at my table. There was a um, another lady whose career had been in retail. Someone also who had a stud farm in Ireland. A real mixture of people. Um, and we'd all had difficult conversations in a work context. And it was interesting to talk about that. And then the people I spent the rest of the day with at the charity were very different people. You know, from, from very different backgrounds. Ranging from, you know, senior people to... Um, you know, who, who had kind of spent all of their, their lives working to, you know, patient representatives. So a whole mixture. And, and it was interesting to go into that um, strategy day, having had the breakfast about difficult conversations and just thinking a little bit about what motivates people. So if there's um, an issue for you that you're experiencing um, with someone at work, have a think about... Um, where that person is coming from, what motivates them, think about what you'd like to achieve um, and resolve as a result of a conversation and then have the conversation rather than putting it off and see how that works for you. So after my very people-y day today, I'm going to have to go and um, lie down somewhere quiet by myself this evening to recharge my batteries. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye!